street of glory by and by. Jesus said unto him, 
I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are going to pray at this time. Eternal God and our Father, we gathered here today, Almighty God, in the funeral of our dear, beloved Patricia. God, thou knowest, thou understandest. And so today, Father, we want to give you thanks. As you say unto us, we should give thanks in the bad times and in the good times. We are grieving. We are mourning. The family, I know, the children. But God, as I said before, you know best. I pray, Father, that you go before us right now and you lead the way. Give us the strength as I ask of thee in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Praise his name. It is a hard road to travel. It's a mighty long way to go. I will acknowledge the presence of our dear Bishop Wellington and uh, the pastors and the platform. Your name? Mr. Bailey. Pastor Bailey and Pastor Mitchell, musicians, God's people that are gathered here today. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Patricia was such a wonderful woman. And uh, it is hard to stand here to do this but by the will and the grace of almighty God I will in Jesus name we're going to stand and we're going to have the opening hymn blessed assurance
Jesus Christ, we come before you all this afternoon. We give you thanks and praise for your goodness. We thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being alive today. Hallelujah. Father, we realize it's just by your mercies. Oh, glory to your name. Lord, we pray today, hallelujah, for the bereaved family right now. Strengthen them, Lord, for this journey, hallelujah. Cover them, Lord, and comfort them like no other can. Father, we pray that you take full control of this day's activity. Lord. Let nothing be done here for vain glory. Hallelujah. No strife. Hallelujah. But let whatever be said and done be done for your glory. Oh God. Father, I pray today, God, that this day will be a reminder. Lord. That there is coming a day when our appointment will have to be met. Shakuna, as it is appointed unto man, man to die. Lord, I pray that you will give us, Lord, the reminder and the consciousness that time waits for no man. Lord, the only time we have is today. Help us to be aware of that, Lord, because tomorrow was never promised to us. Help us, God, that our hearts will be so troubled today that we make the necessary preparation, God, that if our name or our number is called this evening, then God, we will be ready to go with you. Help us, Lord, to understand that the pleasures of this life, they have a limit, hallelujah, and an expiry date. Help us, God, that we will make our calling and our election sure. Save somebody today. Turn some souls around, God. And those that have gone backward who know you. Help them, God, that today will be the day they return. Hear from heaven now. We wait on you. We depend on you. We say thanks. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Since his days are determined, 
the number of his days, month is with you. You have appointed his limit so that he can pass. Look always from him that he may rest till like a hero man is finished his days. Praise God. My dear is hope for a tree if it is cut down that it will spur up again and that its tender sh shoot will not cease though its root may grow out in the earth and its Yet at the sense of water, it will bud and bring forth a branch like a plant. But man die and is laid away. Indeed, he bringeth his lust, and where is he? As the water is pure from the sea, and a and a river become much as dried up. So man lie down and does not rise. Till the heaven are no more. There will no awake, nor be rude from their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in the grave. That you would conceal me until your wrath is past. That you would appoint me a set time and a remembered me. Fourteen. And I stopped as far. If a man died, shall he live again? All the days of my hard service, I will wait till my change comes. This is the Bless the Lord. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right
You may feel down and feel like God.
today. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pat was a happy woman, you know. Yes, yes man. Yes. She was a happy person. Yes. Hallelujah. And she loved to praise God. Amen. Amen. In spite of that, she wasn't a Christian. She loved the Lord. Yes. She knew how to she worship. She loved to worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. And we're going to worship today. Glory. As if there is no. Hallelujah. We're going to have a tribute done by Bada Group. For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want.
special day Jesus. when God shall call you Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to his name. Jesus. Next tribute will be done Jesus. by Charlton Turner Jesus. Cousins. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. God's son, sorry. Hallelujah.
What a rich yellow by me, this is a yes, you are not your reminder. This is your better. This is a part of what you have a good body, you can't move, but the donor, what a job again of the year. What about them? We hope they are in home care, but the rich have something to eat, Mr. No. But I know the money. You know, you're thinking of, but you think my kill at the moment, my breast milk. パターンのせいでもまあ別名オーバーでパターンでもまあ別名なんですよ。マジで。今日ね、あのディスプレイ。あんまりなんですよ。え、よくペクシオペクサイドのビジネスのチャットにアイドンケア。そのリカラワンで
it will be done by speculation group. Jesus.
Bless the Lord. Hey. Praise his name. We are moving Jesus. on. Hallelujah. Mighty Praise God. God. The next tribute I'll will be, be like Jenny's and Neil. Family friend. Hey. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Jenny's Neil. Family friend. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I went to the house where Patricia used to live. The grass has grown up and covered the door. Someone across the street said. But she, she doesn't live there anymore. For she is somewhere around the town of Somewhere around the Church, not sure. 
animals, all of us, we know that death is a must. But I can tell you this. Antipat gets in Cayman, he shot everybody. Everybody cannot come to and say no. We believe in there, say, oh, we have got Antipat funeral. It's just, you know, but we, we on that side, we And I just try to do a part of a song. Oh, Jesus. If I
Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Glory to His name. Hallelujah. What can we accomplish? Church of God. Hallelujah. Church of the living God. It is going to be a deal.
I just want to say that this is indeed one of the greatest messages that can ever be preached to anybody today. I am going to sing, but I cannot sing unless I leave a word to my friends and families. I want to tell everybody today to look on Pat. today. It was one of my cousins. And I could have seen some of my family members because they were going to be, that person who, who died was going to be buried beside my mother in James Hill. And I remember I sent a message to that cousin. It was not that cousin. But shortly after many of you would have remembered when Debbie's son died. And after Debbie's son died, of family members going and going and going. And I keep saying to people, this is the time when men need to be repent because nobody knows whose next role is going to be called. But after Pat's death, I spoke at length with Cherise. To Sherry, Sherry, I too, the devil wanted to take out because in 2019 I suffered massive heart attack. And you see me looking strong and well. God bless my husband, Bishop Mitchell, who sits there. Glory to God who prayed for me three o'clock in the morning when heart attack started taking me. And I went to school and I was at, at school the entire day having pains in my chest and saying it was gas pain. And God was just keeping me until in the evening when I finally got. To the doctor, and when the doctor wrote the prescription and gave me just a throw, a stone throw to the pharmacy, all I did was hand the pharmacist. And when she took it, that was it. And it was my husband who ran through the door and caught me. And that was it. Five weeks at UA. And if they did not pour my back and pull out the infected fluid, then you would not have seen me either. I would have gone before Pat. But God kept me to dear to tell somebody. That Pat was a loving cousin, and Pat loved to worship, and Pat loved to do this, and Pat loved to do that. But I'm sorry for you if she did not get a chance to repent and give her life to Jesus Christ, then she has no more hope. You are here today with hope. Repent before it's too late. Her daughter, all her family members, all her siblings are here. My auntie journey from Canada, she's here. Lord God Almighty, we are all here. Yeah. But you know what I tell Shereen? I said in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't want nobody to ask. I wonder who going next. Come on, cancel the death angel. Yeah.
away. It's not a dream. God will make all things new. The day gone is the curse from which I stumbled and fell.
wonderful. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. We are going to have the second lesson at this time. 1 Corinthians 15. 50 to 57. And this will be done by Alicia Johnson. Friend. First Corinthians 15 from verses 50 to 57 I greet the ministers on the pulpit God bless you and to the congregation greetings all right so we'll begin now this I say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God nor does corruption inherit incorruption behold I tell you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. 57th and ending, but thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Here in a portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we move on to the open tributes, and I'll ask these persons, please, let it be your short, short, short tribute. Amen. I'll take the first one from Judy and then the others follow. Shall we praise the Lord? Can the church praise the Lord? Praise Him. In the dark of the midnight Have I often hid my face
and why should my heart be lonely and wrong?
such a song with such power I applaud him a glory to God God bless him next to vote good afternoon everyone good afternoon I'm standing here today with my skills for those who know Pat and know me know the closeness of us and uh, You know, coming to church and at the end of the service, they always say that. Is there anyone who wants to thank the Lord as their personal Savior? And then, I didn't understand. And most people think that when the pastor says that, then it means that you have to baptize. It's not so good. Whenever you come into the house of the Lord, whether it's a wedding, funeral, whatever, you must expect a blessing. So you must come with your praise. And he says in everything he thanks. Amen. I cried for the first couple of days. And I remember the promise that God made to us that blessed are they that mourn because they must be comforted. And he's not slack at his words. And I hold it together, and I was like, God, let me hold it together because Joel is holding it together. And you know, Pat Death has broken so bad, it takes a toll on my health. I wasn't even walking, I wasn't even sure that I was going to make it here. But God, what I remember I was at work when I got the call that Pat. Black horse and his army. Let's support my son. And the only thing that I could think of is the children. And Joel was my first person and I called him. And when I called him, I said, you know how to pray. And when he was talking and I hear the tears in his voice, I started crying. I was working at the restaurant and the boss started crying and everybody and I was like, I have to hold this together. And I remember when I get that picture and I said it to Andy and he said, I got it. And he says to me, they said she's gone and then they, sh they said she's not there. And I remember saying to my boss that I have to go home from him. And he took me home and on my way home, I was praying. And then I got out of that body and I opened that door, I was praying. And I, when I reached to the stairs, I changed and I cried. And I was like, God, if it is your will for a pack to go, give her that chance, that one chance to get it right. And I remember going and I said, Mom, did you get that video? And I went into that bathroom and I was backslide. I wasn't out in the world doing anything, but I backslide from God. I wasn't going to any prayer meeting, any fasting, any Bible study because work has taken my time. But top death has brought me back to that landmark. And I remember sitting at that toilet and I was like, God, I had to reach that point and that intimacy with God. And I stand in that gap and I said, God, here I am. I'm standing in that gap. Amen. One chance. Amen. And Joel, it is well with your mother's soul. Cliff, it is well with her soul. I went to bed crying and I wake up rejoicing. My mother touched me. I was saying, Hallelujah. It was well. And it is well with Pat's soul. And I remember when I was feeling those pain and I couldn't walk, I said, God, I just want to make it home. I am going home and I'm standing in my purpose. So Pat have brought me back to that place where I should be with God. And when you have that personal, when you get encounter with God, you can stand in the gap for yourself. Many of you will pass and say, I'm over the church there. They are hypocrite, they are over rocker. But let me remind you today, you are the church. We are the church. This is just the building. If you are outside and you are going to the older man, all out of the worker. Hypocrite is everywhere. Come on. So come in and show them all not to be a hypocrite. Come on. There are so many of us that God has given us gifts yeah. to sing. Amen. Oh. And if you love God so much, today is the day to 
show her she didn't get the chance to go under the water. But you have the chance because we're standing on our grave. Do something, make a change. Amen. Come back home and do the right thing. Today is the day that you need to take him as your personal savior. Amen. He's not stuck on his promise, and if he do it for me, he will do it for you. Amen. Amen. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. We're only going to take two more tributes after. Praise God, everyone. I am the founder of our antipathy who came on. not to the dead this morning or this afternoon but to us the living it goes like this the mark can place is empty no more trap become the street the builders to the silent no more time for harvest
gonna ask Miss Wellington Miranda just to come and give us something short. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, members of the clergy, mm -hmm. officiating ministers, bereaving family. I would just like to say that on behalf of the People's National Party of Southwest St. Elizabeth, I want to express our deepest condolences to Pat's family. Mm -hmm. I know that when you're in this kind of setting, there are no right words to share with a family that has lost their loved ones. Come on. But I know that tears are a language that everybody understands. Yes. And no matter how hard and how difficult life becomes, know that your trust in the Lord will take you through. Amen. I feel a sense of gratitude being here this afternoon. I feel like I'm a part of this family. All right. I know there's a lot of wedding times in this church this Amen. afternoon. Amen. And I know that we also have a lot of family, a lot of support, yes. a lot of community members who Pat has touched, who her family has touched their lives. Yes. And I know that she is feeling proud she knows that she has left a mark. Yes. She has left a legacy yes. on the people's lives she's touched yes. in Crawford. And I hear all the persons come up and share their stories. And I feel like I'm a part of that story. Because there are so many people having lost so many people. In recent times, I'm, I'm going to so many funerals. Yes. And the hurt is strong and the pain is deep. Mm. And I want to say to you this afternoon, congregation, just share your love a little more. Yes. Give it a little harder. Amen. And know that whatever you do, it's the life that you live. Yes. And the legacy that you've left behind that matters. Yes. It's the life that you've lived. So make a good life with the people around you. And spread your love a little wider. Yes. Spread it a little stronger. Yes. And make sure that the people who are in your lives, make them know how much you love them. Let them know how much you care for them yes. because life is precious and when it's gone, it's gone forever. Yes. But it's a life that you've lived that will remain with the people that you love. Yes. And so this afternoon, I want to say with all your heart Amen. and remember, it's the people that really matters, the people around you. So, thank you so much for sharing God bless you. you. And God bless you. God bless you too. Bless the Lord. Praise his name. Praise God. We want to thank God. Hallelujah. Praise his name for this way to sharing with us in this service. Praise God. As she support, bless the name of the Lord, this family. Amen. Uh, as she speaks of love, love, Help me to demand. hallelujah, Help me now. covers a multitude, hallelujah, Help me of sin. Day. We're going to take the offertory him at the sky. Oh, I want to see him. As I journey through this, through this land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary. To the crimson falls. Many arrows pierce my soul. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. As I journey through this land, singing as I go.
offering. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When Israel out of bandage came, I see before them lay, and the Lord reached down his mighty hand and rolled the sea away. Father, today I want to thank you. I want to thank you for grace. I want to thank you for mercy. God, you say we must give thanks whether it is good or whether it is bad. Amen. So today I want to tell you, thank you, Jesus, Amen. for the things that you have brought us through. Mighty God, here we are in a funeral service. God, we are here with a mixed feeling. We are here on a wake up call. Yes. Mighty God, we look to you today from whence cometh our help. Yes, we know, God, our only help cometh from you who made the heaven and the earth. And today as we come, God, here we are before you. I pray, Almighty God, you may look down upon us, your people, in your many mercy. Yes. Here is the offering, God, that your children has given. I pray right now, Daddy, that you may bless, sanctify it, Lord God, and let it go to the work and the cause of this ministry. I pray, Almighty God, that you may bless those that give and those that didn't have to give, Lord God, in this session. I pray, God, that you may bless them. God, that in the next session, they too will have to give for a cause. Hear from heaven. Abide now, God. Stay right here with us. We look to you and we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. On at this time, we'll go straight into the remembrance. Praise God. It will be done by Kenesha Williams' cousin. Good afternoon. I'll be doing this remembrance on behalf of my sister, Kenisha Williams, who is so emotional to speak right now. Remembrance yeah. for the late Patricia Ferguson, otherwise called Auntie Pat. I remember the first day moving to St. Elizabeth when my mom just passed away. Auntie Pat was my guardian at the age of 13. First time traveling to her house is a memory I will never forget. I remember had a lot of calls, and while passing the calls, I jumped out of my sleep and shouted, Auntie Pat, we reach. She replied, Why you not allow me? I'm asleep. And she went back for a nap. At that point, I started to form a bond with Pantipat. And so, one day, she decided to take me to the beach. She realized I was afraid of the morass. So she started to run me down with it. I started to run and scream. The way I was screaming, you would think I, it was a monster running me down. I cried so hard, but this was just laughter for Antipat who would drop on the floor and just roll and laugh even more. Everyone knows that Auntie Pat was a very outspoken and stand firm, she stands firm in her decisions. One movie at the age of 13. Then Atta came in the room and said, let this little girl come out and watch this movie. Yeah. Auntie Pat being the old, outspoken person she, she is, Said to him, said to her, sorry, make you stay, cause if I didn't watch the movie, yeah, no one would get no picnic. <laughs> Yet, fast forward to a couple years later as an adult, I moved back to Spanish town to live. But I would always go to St. Elizabeth in the summer to help Antipat sell at Border. That's an Antipat place, you know. When I went there, everyone would mouth her and say, why you, why you are the way this a hot girl yeah, after she can't sell? But better believe, as Jamaican would say, I give them a run for their money. Not even Antipat could believe that I sell so much things in one day. 
she was always saying, nobody can run leave me. She's a champion of Bada. <laughs> and everyone would know that they're selfish, they find selfish in Bada sentence. A couple years later, I migrated to Cayman, the Cayman Islands. Had a lot of families, or I had a lot of families around, but still felt incomplete without Antipat. Oftentimes, I posted pictures and she would respond and say, Cause, I saw me have a look good when we come at Cayman, you know. And I always tell her jokingly, Antipat, you have to have your own looks. I decided to assist her in coming to Cayman as well. She was my go-to person. I could talk to her about anything. When Antipat started to talk, everyone would gather around, sit and listen. She was the mother of the yard. Now that she's no longer with us physically, it's like Belford Big Yard is now empty. While we were in Cayman, she taught me how to fry fish and boil omni corn porridge. Usually, when I boil the porridge and she tastes it, she would say, No, girl, what this up? No, girl, look like you're better than me now. <laughs> Laughing with the milk tin in her hands. It was, it was always Antipat dream to live in Canada with her, her son Cliff and her daughter Mara. All my years away, I never given a nickname. But when Auntie Pat came, she called me Auntie Ghost, and I called her Uncle Ghost. We bonded over African movies. This was how we came by the nicknames. Everyone know this. Common slang for say. Trust and believe me. Anything Manda says lives on forever. Every year we would have Christmas and Mother's Day get together and Auntie Pat will take the dance floor because she loved to move her waistline. Big Yard miss you Auntie Pat. The place is not the same without you. You are sadly missed by everyone. You are sadly missed by your siblings. Jennifer, Debbie, Sherin, Greg, Nick, Don, Stephen, all of your cousins and your family in St. Elizabeth and Kittitown, Jamaica. We love you dearly, Auntie Pat. May your beautiful soul rest in eternal peace. I thank you. Bless the Lord. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. We'll now have selection by the church choir. I have a God who never fails. I have a God. Thank you. 
It's time to hear the word. Glory to God. As a church will stand with me. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is going to be a midnight cry. Hallelujah. The dead in Christ. And those that are not in Christ will be remain. I will present unto us no other person than our dear Bishop T. Wellington. Church, will you receive him today in the care of the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you.
are not working to please God. Hell shall be your portion. It's time for us to understand Come on, who God is. And it's time for us to understand the requirement from God to man. Yes, yes, sir. I hear some people speak earlier that Pat did shape them up. Yeah. Well, let me say this before we forget that's from tomorrow night we'll be having a week of crusade right here. Yeah. Because this is a week of call. Can somebody give God praise? Can somebody give God praise? Come on. Just the foot. No, from the foot to the mouth. Can somebody praise God? Can somebody praise God? And if Pat never been right already, Pat can't be right again. Just Myself and Pat, we had a good relationship. Amen. Joel, I, I am Joel Godfather. Amen. And you record me and Joel Band by the CMD. And somebody give God a praise. And somebody give God a praise. And somebody give God a praise. I, I, I hear somebody say, Pat, that somebody like me, just start it as it is. Yeah. Pat go against me wicked. And as a sinner she come back and she bow. She said, forgive me. Now can somebody praise God? I have some people in the church free. Oh, can somebody give God praise? Can somebody give God praise? Some people say they're Christian. Come on, come on. Come on, they say they're too big. But I hear my right, I said, if I'm too high, Lord.
the same one and say, Family, like a peony. And then I go. I have some part. I come. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise him. And it happened that she leave and go. I came, man. And when she come back, a few months ago, she was here rejoicing. Lord. And anytime I go and come back, you come, Bishop. You know, we have something up my heart for you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. She now come on and bring something for me. And because she had given me a little parcel. And she had pushed her money in my hand. See you. Come on, man. Can somebody give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? Hallelujah. Today she's lying. In a casket. In a casket. There's a song man that sing a song. Run to the preacher man. Six man. Six man bring in your back. Run from the preacher man. Six man bring in your back. If Pat never make it right already. But for those that is alive, you have the chance today. I hear somebody said earlier on. Somebody may say, me now go by the church. Eh? It not only mean this church, any church. Me now go by the church eh? because they're my hypocrite. No, can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody praise the Lord? But I was saying to somebody, I was saying to somebody the other day, when somebody did, there is two questions that quickly ask. When I see around, Church. When I finish, and I was church. Praise the name of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Nobody in the Bible ever asks that go but that was church. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because this is the church. Even though she didn't got saved. But as long as she's here, she would visit this church just for a few minutes. Where is she? Turn up the mic. Just for a few minutes. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. We realize there were time passed. When a pure old people, he was still dead. Come on. Once you're young, you're the world. A pure old people, he was still dead. Mercy, Lord. But do we realize what is happening now? It's a turnaround. Mercy, Jesus. It's a switch. And they heard this part about this switch. Some one day, Christ. they might be the old Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, 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 I say it when I preach to them today. So I'm saying to somebody that is in the hearing of my voice to Lord, tomorrow we'll be having another funeral in Crawford. Sister Brown, Abchess Mother, Sister Amen. Young Mother, and some more. We'll be having another funeral close by. But she do fear her time. Yes. She has run over by her time. Because yes. of her 93, 92, 93, somewhere there. She's blessed and highly favored. Christ. I'm saying to those that is here today who have not yet accepted God as your Savior. What if your number should call? Jesus. Even today, none of us know the minute, not the hour, when the bread that we are going along with. Can I tell you something? If you never know the bread we are with, belongs to God. 
how he moves. Because the Bible tells us when God made man. And he grew his breath into man. And man become a living soul. To serve God. We are in the last days in which man now become the lovers of themselves. Have one party you now with full. Can I talk to somebody? Have one party you now with full. And it's just a few in the church. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. The heart of man gets desperately wicked. Man, no one God anymore. Man, no one here, no more God. We are with God. You will bury us. So, as soon as man dead, family alone, church. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord, church. Praise the Lord Church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look church. The church then. I look pastor. A funeral is a reminder to the living that they too will die one day. Sooner or later. And that we should be soberly considered. The course of our life. Praise the name of Jesus. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Praise the name of Jesus. When we plant a seed, a corn seed, it grows and face its judgment. I know if the last night some can't face judgment. That's a people like eat can. Come on up. So the can will plant the seed and it grows and it faces its judgment by man eating it. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise God. So when a man dies, we have to face judgment. our judgment. Yes. Brother Mark, we have to face our judgment. Answer. What will our answer be? Yes. At that final day when the Lord shall put in his appearance Tells us that when he comes, he will come to pick the church. I want the sinners to understand. So you will criticize say some of them over the church then. But yes, the Bible said when the Lord comes, he will pick the church over the church. Amen. So not everybody. In that church, I'm already. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. When the writer said, Whether we're ready or not, Jesus is coming. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. There is no repentance in the grave. As long as we're born, we have to die. There's a writer that says, We better make right. With God. Come and do it now. Under the cross of Jesus. I lay my burden down. So as I was saying earlier on, there were times when it was the only old people there. People in your start bearing parents. But no parents are buried. So I'm saying to the young people that is here today, make a shift, make a turn. Tomorrow may be too late. Come on, sir. We, we lost a taxi guy. 
couple of weeks ago. And the day that he died, nobody knew that that would happen. And I was coming to Black River, he was going to White House, and I passed him just about a minute before he went into the accident. And by the time I reached Black River, drive out. Then somebody said to me, you know, here who crash? Hector crash. And I said, we just pass him. Move down, who are you just stop this Sunday? No, pal? But the Monday, they were making a plan to come to Jamaica. God say yes in December. Jesus. But look, she's lying in a castle. If it, it wasn't the will of God, sir. It wasn't the will of God yeah, for Pat to she, come to Jamaica to celebrate December. Because she don't want to spend on Christmas at here, man. I, I, I have the message on my phone. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. And I said, I won't be long. I could go on and go on. But I'm warning somebody today. What are we been doing here? My the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah. We've been doing here. My Lord. Make haste. Where the sun shines. Because tomorrow is promised to no man. Look how many of us had John here today. Bada Koko, that dear Bada selling fish. I'm festival and soup and whatever. But because. Here they are today. Because of that. They are here today. Just pay their last respect. All of us could have been on our own business. I could be out there doing my work, but because of that, I am here today. Pat have one little house. Just up that up top there, sir. She alone. And there was a time when people used to bury. But people hardly get that again. And it doesn't matter how we love the individual. No one will go down. No one will volunteer to go even spend a night with her in that little house. You got to go. No one is. We'll go there with us. That long somebody. Right. You got to go. Make sure that we are fully grounded. Hey. 
Let us make sure that we are wrapped up and tied up and tangled up with Jesus. Let us make sure we walk the walk. Let us make sure we talk the talk. Let us make sure we live the life. May the life that we We had another church brother die. The 28th of this month yes. will be his funeral right here, Brother Amen. Pete. So we are in a funeral season. None of us know who will be the next. I said to the church the other day, and I'm coming down. Hallelujah. We have one little something inside here, so. From the heart, the heart. It is so important. It is important physically, and it is important spiritually. If the heart is not working right physically, we're in trouble. And if the heart is not working right spiritually, we're in trouble. Because God said, give me your heart. And I will give you a father's kingdom. I'm saying to us, the Bible said that 99 and a half won't do. It's not an easy road. We're traveling to heaven. It takes a made up mind. And the way some people want to do it. Hey, not going to work. It can't work that way. I, I say it to us today when we are asking God for something we have asked God full of hundred we have asked God to give me this and the, 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 the way some of us give God his praise oh my God That we are purchasing. We need to give God our all. God deserves the best. If when you give the best of your service, telling the world that the Savior has come, be not dismayed when man won't believe you. I understand. Shaking of time. For those that are it's time. That, that type of motion won't work. You have to keep steady. Steadfast. Keep steadfast. Unmovable. Unmovable. Because redemption. Joy. Let me say this. There's some people that they will only talk about. Gotta come, gotta come. But what about death? We we'll prepare for death. But we got to prepare for death. Because none of us know the minute of the hour. And anytime they come and take we, there is no repentance in the grave. The grave is a waiting area. And later from this, over there, sister part. We'll be going to her waiting area. I, I see some people build some waiting area for some people. They build one house. They put settee in there. Oh, Jesus. They put all kind of things in there. But that have no use. Do it right now. Better make right with God. Come right and do it now. Pat dead, the sister said. Pat dead, the 15. And she have to run the 20. She have to run the 20. Run for your life. My sinner friend, run for your life. Because death, it is sure. 
death is sure. We know not the minute. We can leave here this evening and later we get to our news. You know, here, say, who dead? You know, here, you know, here, who dead? Steve dead. Yes. And if Steve never make it right already, Steve can't make it right again. So I'm trying to do my best. Yes, sir. I'm trying my best to have a clean heart. And when my number calls, I will be ready to meet my Savior. My sinner friend, clean up time. Hallelujah. I really tell you, we are the time we're living in it. Yes. Man, I did. Jesus. Can I tell you, those are all man, I did. We plan was to have Brother Keith funeral the 21st. But I can you understand so the funeral home so they full out for that day. Yes. Full, they can't take one more. They full out, they book out. For the 21st. Jesus. So we have to put. And I'm hungry, Come on, so we have to put this funeral to the 28th. So I'm warning us today. I'm warning my sinner friend. Run before it's too late. Life sweet. Since sweet, what I can tell you, salvation is sweet. Somebody may look and say, When you tell Christian, I go all of myself. But come on, it is an appointment once to die. And after that, come to church. God bless you. Amen. God keep you. She up. We are up. Make a turn. Straight up yourself before it's too late. Because it, it, when, 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 when somebody dead in Christ, brother Mark, they have a hope. Yes. 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 They have no blood wash stains. They have a hope yes. to meet the Savior when we oh, die in Christ. Glory, but when a man dead and they not dead in a Christ, hell shall be their portion. Be their portion. And no matter how the preacher preach, a pretty hit up. when a man dead in sin without accepting God, Last forever, and no changes can be made. No changes can be made. So don't stand to watch somebody that's in the church their life. Come and live your life. Please the Lord. Come and live your life. Come and be an example in the church. In the church. So that somebody else can see. That you are as you are an example. Come on, sir. It's not time to sit back or to stand and to criticize. But it's time for us to see for your own soul salvation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The people who buy them things say they don't have a ticket. They don't have a chance. So if you're not give your life to God, you don't have no chance. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Continue to pray for me. I will yeah. turn back to our mother in Jesus' name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. We are going on to the eulogy. And this will be done by Patrice Stevens' friend. Too late. Too late. Mercy God. Too late. Too late.
Greetings to Bishop Worthington and to all the rest of us who's here. Praise God, we to my pastor, Pastor Bailey, to all the musicians and to all the families. Present afternoon to you all. Eulogy for the late Patricia Denise Ferguson. Written by Joel Hendrickson. It was on a sunny day when Eslyn Morgan went into labor and the news came to Ransford Ferguson that Patricia was born. Patricia was born to both predeceased Eslyn Morgan and Ransford Ferguson on September 7, 1971 in the Cherry District, St. Catherine. Pat was the second child out of the union of 10 children, which three is predeceased, John Wayne Ferguson, Sam Ferguson, and Christine Ferguson. Patricia stayed with Eslyn and Ransford until she was three years old. She migrated to St. Elizabeth with her grand-aunt, Maud Edwards, who is predeceased and started her early stages of life as she grew beautiful. Patricia started her education at the Living Word of Faith Fellowship Church of God, which the classrooms were parted with blackboard. Then she went on to the Crawford Elementary School, where she sat the common entrance exam and went to the Black River Secondary School. While Pat went to Crawford Elementary, she had a promising future. And though Ma didn't spear the rod and spoil the child, that didn't keep her from going to the fighting tree to beat up the kids who would often lie on her to Ma. One day, Ma gave Pat a new pencil to go to school, and Verna's daughter saw the pencil. And when Pat confronted her, Jennifer went and complained. And when Pat confronted her, and took it to Jennifer and went and complained on Pat and Miss Maud gave Pat some who do a leak. Patricia then lay away to Jennifer at the fighting tree and gave her a fine beating. The waiting tree where she would have placed her anger under it. After Patricia journeyed to Black River Secondary, many years, months, and days, on the hot road with Year, the cunning Albert Webster got her pregnant with her first child of the womb, Ricardo Webster. Patricia then started her adult life as she now has an extra mouth to feed. She got a job at Spurtry Hill to take care of two beautiful kids, but as time progresses, she left. The employers didn't want her child to be a part of their family, and so Pat loving her family gave up that job to remain, or to return back home. Pat then went to Foster Grove, where she resided for a while, with Miss Hayo, who is now predeceased, and her kids, where Sharon introduced her to selling Bami. She then started selling Bami and fish, and started gaining many customers. As you heard before, she would have given them a run for their money, and no one could run faster than her, in her selling capacity. Patricia was known for the vibrant and elegant woman she was. Patricia spent more than a decade at Barda, where she met and fell in love with Owen Hendricks and now conceived of Joel Hendricks, her second child. How could I forget her son, Jason? She loved Jason as if he was a human. Pat would often tell you how Jason come to meet her at the gate every night when she would come home from Barda. Jason would also sleep in the bed with her. When Jason died, Patricia cried as if it was a human that had passed. Now you know Jason was not a human, but of course, her cat. <laughs> Patricia loved Joel and would ensure that he never lacks nor want of anything. This continued even when she ended her relationship with Owen. She later met and fell in love with Alphonse Buchanan. They got married. But further down the line, they part 
scattered their ways by getting divorced. As time went by, Patricia then fell in love with the onion birds. She went to the Bahamas and stayed there for a period of time. Patricia was hardworking, independent, and as a result of that, she would work tirelessly to ensure that her family's needs were met and they were well taken care of. As Patricia lived her life, she brought joy into many lives. As this result, in the crowd that we have here today, whether it was following her friend I in stealing Miss Morel Milo and fooling the container with dirt, or oh, how they were so wooed. Or he was stoning people's car with two two time and the others are even riding Hebrew the donkey and putting poor actress a tearing so the donkey would poo on her. <laughs> she would talk to her favorite, she would then give her favorite talk. You would know there's never a dull moment around Pat. If you're on Pat and you're not laughing, something must be wrong. Her jokes, her sense of humor, her broad smiles would have captivated. Patricia gave birth to her eyeball, Anne Maria Willis, and made up her mind that she would stop selling at border. Patricia then gave up what she would have had as her job that would have earned her many things. Patricia was not only a mother to her three children that she gave birth to, but to others like Charlton, Dwayne, Rasheen, Donna, Tracy, Tish, and the list goes on. If you needed a counselor, check and depart. A friend, of course she would be there. A bucketive, talk about that, she got your back and she have your luck. A supporter, oh boy. Further on, you will learn how much of a supporter she was. Antipat would be I would have met. Pat was truly a supporter. When we counted programs that were that were that she would have received from funerals, she would visit it. It was more than a hundred. Sounds funny, best believe it. She is the one who attended. She was the one who attended them. Patricia would give away her all to help someone in need or needed her assistance. Patricia had no shame in telling you or in telling the world, sorry, that she is miserable and how much of a disciplinarian she was. Right, Joel? I know you can attest to that. Joel can surely attest to that because he surely felt the blunt of Antipas' miserableness. Joel will have to seek refuge under my bed or run and jump the wall and run to Hilltop to escape the wrath of Patricia. One day Joel called her tormented. Hey, what a mistake the boy make. Pat did not leave it like that. Oh, how could you, Joel? Pat hit the hose under her blouse, sing it, and grabbed Joel and started beating him. Some good old lick, I believe she get him from mad. <laughs> Those beating would left Joel screaming. And in that event, Auntie Shereen was his rescue because she would have rescued him from such fine beating. A beating that would leave Joel rubbing whales that he would have gotten from the rescue mission. Antipat was a very feisty woman. You dare not pass the place with her, or you would receive the length of her tongue or every bits and pieces that is attached to it. At that time, you would wish that she had hit you than telling you her mind. I saw. She had some words in her mouth, you see. You wonder where she get them from. Words like, what about the goat? Goat of the shark? Body come down? And many more. 
Antipat spent her later days in Cayman, which she would speak highly of Kenesha, her cousin, for helping her to get there. And that was one of her desire that she could try to make a living there. Patricia worked in the Cayman Island as a janitor. And she was very hard working and very good at it. As she wanted to get an opportunity to go to the to go to Canada, sorry, to be with her daughter. She had many plans that were unaccomplished. Upon her trips to Jamaica, though it may not be much, Antipat would pack some goodies for her families, even if it means to borrow some extra luggages. But she's going to ensure her relatives and friends would have gotten something out of what she would have packed. She would have bought things such as coffee, peanuts, and of course, I know what you're listening to here, bath soap. Yes, she bring it. Because those people go find with tent, they say, if it's evil, the air is spring. Though she complains how costly it was over there, she would still bring them. Patricia was a family oriented person and would always try to be involved in their lives, in, in their lives, sorry, in whatever way she can. Patricia was a die-hearted PNP. <laughs> to how she loved our party. Whenever she was at Barda and the labor rights passed by, I wouldn't tell her what she do. She would of course expose her Andy, which would have been orange and shout out, power, power. Those at Barda cannot test. <laughs> Patricia has one of the best laughter, very infectious. As when she laughs, she would laugh until she cries and cough. And if you allow her, she would drop and roll as if she was doing an earthquake drill. <laughs> Patricia enjoyed cooking as she was raised by the world's greatest chef, Miss Maud. Everyone would be excited when Cliff is visiting Jamaica as Patricia would make hominy porridge and cook some nice food. Antipat was not a mean person, but there are two things she finds hard to give away. And it's her Bailey's rum cream, funny enough, and her cassava pudding made by her stepdad, Kala. In 2022, at Miss Bart's funeral, memorial, sorry, Cliff was serving the ladies rum cream. And even though Patricia got a bottle for herself, she decided that she had to have some from Cliff's bottle. He was from the bottle that Chris, Cliff was history, sorry. That's to show how much she loved. Do not touch the bedroom topics as Antipat would gladly give you history on that. <laughs> Antipat seems to be a name book as she would have a name for everyone. Some persons got name like Box lunch, poor thing, have a shock, steal your mold, and so much more. Patricia loved the Lord and would always pray for her friends and families, kids as well, and the world at large, even though she wasn't saved. In March 2023, she lost her sister Shereen. Christine, sorry and came to Jamaica to bury her. There Patricia cried her heart out. And because of the way her sister had passed, it ripped her into pieces. She would tell her big sister Jennifer what she would like to be done when she passed. In August of this year, Patricia tore a ligament and was placed on two weeks bed rest. After her rest was, oh sorry, she went to the hospital on her appointment. But during her checkup, she collapsed. She was rushed to the emergency room where she was assisted and diagnosed with pulmonary thromboembolism, in which she tried to fight. But she could not held it out any longer. On, on August 15, 2023, 
at 3.01 a.m. The call no one would want to hear. When the news rock the land, Pat gone, Pat dead, she has passed. As a result of that, phones were turned off. Brokenness were in the family. Emptiness were there. Heaviness, loneliness, and the list goes on. Questions were asked, such as what? Who you say? What you mean by it? But yes, she is gone. Patricia died leaving sons. Ricard Webster, Joel Hendricks. Daughter, Amaria Willis. Sisters, Jennifer, Debbie. And Shereen, brothers Andy, Dan, Greg, Nick, and Stephen, a host of nieces and nephews, aunts and uncles, and other relatives and friends. A heart stopped beating that left a family torn. A precious gem has been taken, and it with us no more. We miss you, mommy. We miss you, Auntie Pat. We miss you, Miss Pat. We miss you, Patricia. Though it's hard, we had to let you go. Gone from our presence, but your memories live on in our hearts. You left a void that no one can fill. Your laughter and the echoing of your voice is still in our ears. Goodbye, Patricia. Goodbye. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So much good words about Patricia. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. She's no longer around with us. May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shine upon her. We now have the prayer for the bereaved family. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. And we ask, oh dear, Bishop, could you do this prayer for us? Let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us give the Lord some praise in the house. Give the Lord another praise in the house. Let me just greet you this evening and on behalf of my immediate family. I just want to offer my condolences to the family of Sister Pat. And I want to say to you, if you want to cry, cry. If you want to bow, bow. If you want to hug, hug. But bow with the consciousness that she's no more with us. And there's nothing you can do but to put her remain where it must be. Pat is not here. She's somewhere awaiting the final day. We are now here to pray for her family. And I noticed as I sat here, everybody left. We don't want the word. We want everything else except the word. But may I say to you, that will never cease for we have an, a responsibility if we did not want to die we should not have been born and for me, the only thing that could escape that is the rapture at this time for the ask everyone else to stand while i ask the family members to remain seated Let us pray. Immortal God, the eternal one, the one who speak and it was done, 
The one who commanded and stood fast. We come before your presence this evening. Recognizing that in your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there is pleasures forevermore. We come this special hour. Our Lord God when nobody wants to associate themselves with us. An hour that brings a separation. An hour that brings regrets. And the question is always asking why. But we know you understand. And you know what is best. For when death has come. And taken our loved ones. It leaves our home empty. Dry and lonely and vague. But the songwriter remind us, cheer up my brother, for we'll understand in all by and by. I present the family of Patricia before you. Sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, cousins, host of other relatives, loved ones, well wishers, co-workers here and abroad. God her departure has allowed many to be in shock and still in shock. But God help them to understand that this is a path that we must travel. But we decide how we want to travel it by the life that we lived. I pray, no oh God, that we use this time for that deep reflection. Use this time to examine ourselves. And ask ourselves the serious question. What if I was in Pat's place? Where will I spend my eternity? God, thank you, Father, that there are still chances that today, here in the world, today they can reconcile. Lord, as they mourn, and them the mourn with that consciousness that they can reunite, they, their lives can be changed. Help them to realize that part is no more here, but our memories live on. God, and that they cherish those memories, it will help to strengthen them. I pray, no Father, in this moment of loss, that you will be with them. You will cover them. You will comfort them. Be God that hand on the shoulder. Be that bridge for them. Be that comforting voice. Lord, allow them to understand today that they can make their calling an election show. Help them, oh God, that they reflect, that they cry, that they sigh. Help them to realize that there's a God to serve. They decide where they go. I will ask for your blessing. I place the rest of this evening service in your hand. We pray for a rest of fear afternoon. God, as we go back to your various homes, we pray for German mercies. May your blessing rest upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless his name. Bless the Lord. Praise God. At this time we'll have the recession on him. When we all Get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercies and his grace. In the mansions, bright and blessed, he prepared for us a place. Sing the